What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Q Lord, aka huh? the Wave Man, 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 and welcome back to another YouTube video. And you already know what time it is, man. I'm here, y'all, with the highly requested how to mix your vocals like a pro. Today, we are gonna get into super, super depths about different techniques, right? Of how to get that mix that you're looking for, okay? How to mix your vocals like a pro. Now, super, super, super disclaimer. As we can see on the screen, or you might see in a little bit, right? We're in Pro Tools, but do not worry about the DAW. You can be in FL Studios, Logic, Ableton. It doesn't matter, okay? This, I'm gonna be getting into specific techniques and mindsets to get that perfect mix that you're looking for, okay? So this could be replicated in any DAW. I'm teaching you further than the DAW. I'm teaching you a technique that you can bring into any DAW, all right? So without further ado, let's get right into the prank dang thing because I'm finna get into this. Y'all know what time it is, man. Look, let's get it, man. So if we take a look at the screen right now, guys, you're gonna see our actual session, all right? First thing I'm gonna do is play the song for you, what we're actually working with today. Let's get into it. Shawty like Aquafina. She bad, she off the meter. Her girl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wifey, you a keeper. You fighty, you a thief. Play this shit through your speakers. I don't want you, girl, I need you. Tell me again. You saw them fight. Let's get right into this brang thing thing, all right? So as you can see, guys, we have everything set up right here. If you guys are looking for templates, guys, if you do not have templates, make sure you guys get a template, okay? Whether you make it yourself or you come to wavemonopoly.com where we have templates for FL Studios, Pro Tools, of course, Logic, Ableton, Studio One. We have templates for all DAWs in every single style that you guys can imagine, right? Okay, so if you're looking for presets, guys, feel free to visit us at wavemonopoly.com so you guys can get yours today, all right? Get a professional mix. We'll see you there. Let's continue with this tutorial. Now, the first thing we want to do when mixing vocals, right? There's, there's plenty of places we can start, right? Of course, we know a good recording is going to allow us to achieve a great mix and master, right? That's number one, right? But let's assume that you guys have a great recording. Or let's assume you don't have a great recording. You don't know how to get a great recording. We have a YouTube video for that, so make sure you check that out after this video. But we're gonna assume that we, we have a, a great recording, right? We did our proper gain staging levels. We did our proper levels coming in through the mic, right? When we were recording, recording on the microphone, we got proper levels to get us great um, recordings, right? As you can see these waveforms, just looking at these waveforms, you can see that they're healthy. They're healthy waveforms, right? Let's go ahead and zoom into these a little bit more. As you can see, these are healthy looking waveforms, right? They're not distorting, you know, all the way to the top. They're not bunched up and distorting. They're not super skinny and super small to where you're going to be introducing a lot more noise, right? So it's very important to record at the proper level. That's number one, okay? So as you can see, this whole session, guys, um, the waveforms look consistent. Now, let's say, for instance, you're recording and your joints look like this. Oh, my God. All right? <laughs> nah, but say it looks like this, right? Um, The first thing that we can do is start clip editing, okay? We wanna edit the clips. Because the reason why we're gonna to wanna to do this is because, let's say for instance, you have a clip like this, right? A, a bigger, medium size, good recording, right? And then it goes straight to this. So say these are on the same track. If it goes from here to here, they're gonna have, um, your plugins are basically gonna be confused, right? So if you have a compressor compressing a vocal that looks like this, right? And then your compressor, that same compressor, right? is working on a vocal like this, it's not gonna act and sound the same, right? So in a case like that, you're gonna wanna go through your song and edit your clips, right? So for instance, in Pro Tools, we just edit it on the actual audio um, clip itself, okay? So that's the first thing that we're gonna wanna do, guys. Consistent waveforms is gonna allow us to get a more even track. The next thing that we're gonna wanna do, guys, is make sure that we gain stage, okay? So what do I mean when I say gain stage, okay? Lots of times, guys, when we're downloading beats, them things is fully mastered, right? Um, a lot of times when we hear louder beats, right, the producers give us louder beats. They have them fully mastered on YouTube or wherever you're getting your beats from because they sound better to your ear when they're fully mastered. So what we have to do, if we do not have access to the stems, we have a two track, we want to go ahead and bring our track back. We want to trim it down so that we can get some of that headroom back. And what do I mean when I say headroom? While we're processing our vocals, right, plugins a lot of times do introduce more gain, you know, more levels. But there's only so much we can go when a beat is already hitting unity gain, which is that zero. If Once you start going past that, guys, it starts to distort. So let's first bring back our instrumental, 
right? So that we're able to have some headroom, all right? So if you can hear, if I didn't do that, this beat would sound like this. But when I put the trim on, guys, we did it negative 10 dB, right? We took that, we trimmed it down negative 10 dB. And that's going to give us a lot of headroom, okay? Um, after we've gained stage, everything is looking good, right? Perfect. So, of course, we go through our pitch correcting, right? For the sake of time of this tutorial, I don't want to get into this, but we do have another tutorial already on the channel, how to get the perfect auto-tune, like literally craziest auto-tune tutorial out. Make sure you check that out. But after we do our, of course, pitch correcting, correct, right? Let's get into mixing them vocals right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is go through the vocal chain. The first thing that I do when I'm wanting to control a vocal, right, is I want to DS it. Why do I want to DS it? We have our pop filters and everything, right? But we still want to DS our vocals. I find that if you do not DS your vocals many times than others, right? Not every single time, but many times than others, if you do not DS your vocals, it's very hard to tame that later. I DS first so that we're not compressing bad frequencies. Let's just get that out the way now, right? Let's get that out the way now. Let's do that. So as you can see, the first thing that we did right here is we DS the vocals, okay? This is a DSer from Waves. Um, I just did it at the 6700 frequency range, and we just took it down and had the attenuation going about negative three-ish, I would say, negative six, if we need to push it that far. Let's go ahead and see what we did. Shawty like Aquafina. She bad, she off the meter. Her girl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Okay, let's listen nice to it with it off and on. Off. Shawty like Aquafina. She bad, she off the meter. Her girl's my favorite feature. Right, as you can hear, you can hear all of that, right? Let's go ahead and hear that by itself, okay? Let's go ahead and solo the vocal. Okay, let's go ahead and solo the vocal and let's hear this S is what we're actually taking out right now, okay? So let's unbypass it. Let's hear what we're taking out. Hear the that's what we're taking out, okay? So that's the first thing we're going to want to do to control those um, super harsh and hitting um, high-frequency dynamics, which happen to be those uh, S's, which is why we start with the ds -er, okay? The next thing that we're looking at right here, guys, um, is actually a Pro Tools plugin. It's called Lo-Fi. Um, shout out to Irko. I've learned uh, this method from Irko, but simple than none, guys. Super clean vocals are over rated all right they're definitely overrated so what we basically did with this lo-fi plugin right here is we just basically took the sample size down just one bit basically just to kind of dirty up that vocal a little bit give it a little bit of texture give it a little body right we like um you know just like people like some people like people that rough around the edges sometimes so we like the same thing with our vocals guys um perfect um we're not looking for perfection necessarily we are looking for texture we're looking for fitting we're looking for taste of how our vocals Feel with this song, right? So we went ahead and just dirtied that up a little bit. I'll go ahead and show you guys an extreme exaggeration of this and then kind of what the theory is about this, okay? Exaggerated it, it would sound like that, right? So we're just dirtying up that vocal to give us some more texture, some more texture, just some more body and, and boldness to our vocal, okay? Listen to my voice without a vocal preset. <laughs> Now let's turn that thing on. And just like that, you can get professional studio quality vocals in just one click, saving time, money, and get a more efficient workflow by using our vocal presets here at Wave Monopoly with many different presets and different DAWs to make sure that you guys get the sound that you want in the DAWs that you guys operate. So get the sound that you're looking for with WaveMonopoly.com and let us handle the rest of the work for you. Let's make them hits. You know that I be with two case. You know that I be with two case. You know that now the next thing we're gonna do is look at our EQ, okay, guys? As you can see, the first thing that we're gonna want to do is take down the low end, okay? We want to take the low end out of our vocals so that we can start to come through a little bit more, right? Become more clear, get that rumble out of our vocals, okay? Cut through the mix a little bit more. So we did a high pass filter, okay? We did a high pass filter at about. We did a high pass filter at around 106, right? As you can see, the second band right here is at 253. Why at 253, okay? Right? This is how we kind of go ahead and search and destroy, right? We play a lot of modern warfare. So search and destroy. So basically, um, super quick technique that we do, right? And if you need to see this more specifically, we basically look for the bad frequency. So what we do is we use a, a tight cue, 
a tight cue, and we push up about 10 dB. You don't want to go 30 dBs crazy because you're obviously going to introduce terrible noise right there. But we go ahead and listen to our vocals. Shawty like Aquafina. Her curves my favorite feature. You wifey, you would keep her. Right, so we go through and search, right? And we found that the 256 range is where we found a lot of that um, boxy, not, not necessarily boxy, but that rumble, a little bit of that boxy type of sound. I guess you could say boomy. I would say more so boomy sound, right? So what we went ahead and did is just took that out about negative uh, 3.5, and we just opened up that cue just a little bit, okay? And now, as you can see, we did the same thing around the 500 hertz range, okay? Why? Because we get a boxy tone around here. Shawty like Aquafina. Like Boom. Aquafina. We want to take that out as well, okay? Now, at this this uh, fourth band right here, as you can see, we kind of pushed up in the 1100 range, okay? We did this for a little bit of presence in the vocal. So we did presence in the vocal here, give us a little bit of that body. And this last band right here, as you can see, we just introduced a little bit of band, okay? We did a almost a 2 dB bo uh, boost at the 14K range and up, all right? Now, I look at this part as um, you're cleaning up your vocal now, right? We're cleaning up our vocal. Literally, we have to clean. Like, imagine if you're trying to lose weight, right? You have to start eating clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up our vocal, right? The next thing that we're going to have to do, we're going to have to lock in, right? So if we want to lose weight, we got to clean up that vocal, right? Now we have to lock in. We're going to go to our dynamics and start controlling this vocal, right? And what do I mean when I say controlling the vocal? Let's go ahead and take these effects off, okay? And let's hear what the vocal sounds like with just the cleanup, right? Which is basically our EQ, our de -esser. And of course, we just dirtied it up just a little bit, but just super minuscule. But our cleanup, this is what our cleanup sounds like. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Okay, verse without all of that. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curves my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Right? So now that we have our cleanup in there, you can still hear that the vocals are not compressed all the way, right? There's some louder parts, there's some, you know, quieter parts, right? Not so much, but there are some in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get my favorite compressors, okay? Uh, this is my favorite plug-in company when it comes to com uh, compressors. Uh, they just sound so much like analog gear, it's actually ridiculous. So this is my favorite. So this is um, Slate Digital. This is their virtual mix rack. So as you can see what right, we're gonna do right now, we're gonna lock in, okay? So let's just talk about these compressors right here first. This is the FG1116, okay? So this is a bold compressor. This is a compressor that has a very fast attack. So when I say attack, we mean it's going to attack those vocals very quickly to get some of those transients out so that as soon as we, you know, we have a vocal that's pretty aggressive. So as soon as we come in, it's going to catch that vocal and kind of push it down just a little bit, right? It's going to catch it and control it almost instantaneously. So as you can see right here, you're going to see this action happening. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curves my favorite feature. You see that meter working when you, when you hear those spikes? That's it catching it, right? So then we want to stack another one, or in this case, I like to stack multiple compressors. I don't want one compressor doing the whole job. We want to stack multiple compressors doing minuscule reductions, okay? We want to have a gradual build in compression. We don't want one just smashing the track. It will sound very not natural, right? So the next one we got right here was the um, FG Stress, right? Which is kind of a model after the Distressor, which is a very famous compressor. Um, and what makes this one special is it adds a sort of a distortion in with the compression, which allows your vocals to really cut. So as you can see what we did right here, we put the input to four so we can really start pushing it into this compressor. We made the attack pretty fast and we made the release pretty fast, right? These are vocals that are very aggressive. So as you can see, we have this compressor at a two to one, right? And this compressor at a four to one, okay? So that's what we did right there. We're locking in this vocal. And as you can see right here, we wanted to introduce some, um, some analog warmth. So as you can see right here, we have the FG73, which is an emulation of the Neve 1073, which is a very famous preamp. Um, so we're emulating that by adding some of that um, analog saturation to it, if you, if you will say, right? So we locked in the vocal. Let's go ahead and hear what these compressors are doing and how they affect this, the sound. Let's get it. Shawty like Aquafina. She bad, she off the meter. Her curves my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wifey, you a keeper. You feisty, you a diva. So as you can hear, these are locking in the vocals, guys. So the next thing after we control, once we lock in, what do we do next? When we're building our body, just like in this case where we're building this vocal, 
We want to add to that body, right? So we're trying to tone up now, right? We lost the weight. We ate clean. We cleaned up. We locked in. Now it's time to tone up, right? So let's tone up this vocal too. So as you can see, we got this revival here, and we just added a little bit of shimmer. So let's hear it without and with. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wifey, you would keep her. So you can see that add of shimmer coming in right there. And like I said, the same thing that we do with the compressors, we're going to want to do with basically everything that we do. So we want to introduce little and little bit at a time, okay? So we brought in this air EQ right here. We boosted a little bit of that air as well to bring it and tone it up a little bit more, okay? So we're getting into our tonal stage. We're getting the vocal to sound how we want it to sound, getting closer to the end, okay? Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wifey, you would keep her. You feisty, you would diva. As you can hear, the vocal is coming into a more professional and super clean and super cutting vocal. The next thing we did is we went to our multiband compressor, okay? The C4. Now, the C4, I love this multiband compressor. Um, the reason why I find myself using this so much is to basically further tone. It's just to further tone, right? So that boominess a little bit in the, you know, maybe the low mids, right? We're going to want to take some of that out, right? And we want it to just get that final or very close to that final sound that we're trying to get to. So so let's play it without and with the C4 so you guys can hear exactly what I'm going for, okay? This is so that I can really get that cutting vocal and really shape that vocal how I want it to shape. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wifey, you would keep her. Now let's hear that with the song, all right? So when you're listening to your vocals, guys, I'm playing it without the music a lot for you guys, but when you're actually mixing your vocals, Mix it with the music, okay? Let's hear it without and with it again. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Now, as you can hear, it really starts to sit into that mix, okay? So we're using this multiband compressor to compress certain frequencies and so that we can get that dynamic change in the frequencies that we need when we need them and them to be present when we do need them, right? So the next thing that we did right now, guys, is we're bringing in saturation, okay? Now, a lot of times our vocals can sound very digital, um, <laughs> digital, really, you know, flatlined for real, for real. So what we like to do is add saturation to your vocal. It's going to give you a lot of body. It's going to bring that presence in, and it's going to make your, your, your vocals very bold and, and make it big, right? So I love the Decapitator. I've been using this, this plugin for years, okay? Sound Toys got me forever. Um, and what's really cool about this plugin is it has a multiple different styles, okay? Some styles emulate the Neve. Some styles are just more transparent. Some are more, will give you more weight to your vocals or whatever you use it on. But in this case, we're using it on our vocals. So um, I found this E setting to be very, very, very fitting for this track. And we moved the mix down, actually, to about, I would say about 20, 25%, as you can see right here. So let's listen to with and without. And it'll be really subtle, but this adds that good saturation that we're going to need to our vocals to make it sound more polished and heavy. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. So, now, as you can see, the next thing that we're going to do is further control this vocal. Yes, the vocal is starting to sound very amazing already, right? But what we're going to want to do, guys, is I want to further, I want a super tight vocal to where I know that thing is sitting in the mix. I'm not hearing no different dynamics for real. I want that thing to be sitting pretty straightforward across that track. So we're going to go and use another compressor. Now, what's special about this compressor, this is an MV2 from Waves, okay? What's very special about this compressor is it uses um, low-level compression, right? So what does that mean? Usually how a compressor works is a compressor will take the loudest parts and make them quieter okay, to match the lower levels, right? But what a low-level compressor does in this MV2 is, um, or upward compression, what upward compression does is actually, it'll take the lower, right, the, the quieter sounding sounds and bring it up to match the higher level. So listen to the magic that happens when we apply this, right? So all you basically will do is it starts off like this and then you'll just do it to taste, okay? So let's start off with it off and um, let's, let's, let's put it into taste. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wifey, you would keep. You fight you would leave. Play this shit through your speakers. I don't want you, girl. I need you. Tell me. Now, as you could hear, you literally just heard 
that vocal really just started to stand straight, right? It started just to take take presence in the actual mix of this song, right? So it's really starting to sit in that mix and it's really starting to kind of take place and really sit down sturdy, right? Where it's coming a little bit forward in the track now, okay? And we're gonna do a little high level compression, which is our regular compression, just to bring it back down a little bit more. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curves my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Now you could just hear how beautifully this 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 vocal is sitting. It's literally going straight through the track. It's sitting beautifully. All right. Now our final level, what we're doing right here is we're just further getting that tone that we're that we're looking for. Now, mixing is all about your taste, right? So you got to do what you have to do to get that taste. It could be one day you use one, two, three compressors, or you could use two, three different EQs to get the taste that you're looking for. So, um, but in this case, we have the vitamin and I felt that this was one of the last things that we needed to get the final taste of the vocal. And so what we did, we just wanted to cut a little bit more. So we pushed up a little bit on the um, high mid frequencies right here, right? And we also did the mid frequencies just to make that vocal sit more present in the mix. And uh, we just pushed up a little bit in the low mids as well, just to get some of that body back in the vocal, right? Cause it was losing some of the track and this is what we came out with. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her girl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. you That's literally just to get that final bit of tone that we're looking for, okay? Now, so now that we have the sound that we're going for for our vocals, guys, let's get into our special effects. As you can see, let's go ahead and turn these on. Now, these are buses. What is a bus? A bus is literally kind of what it sounds like, right? A bus is a, a way to transport, right? The same way that you get transported to school or to wherever you're trying to go, a bus is to transport people or, in this case, a signal to a different location, right? So we're transporting this vocal. Whatever is going through this signal right here on our vocal chain is getting bussed out onto this one, right? This is where our verb is. Our verb is here. It's getting bussed to here, right? It's getting another bus. Our, our delay is getting bussed to here. Our other delay is getting bussed to here. Our doubler is getting bussed to here. And our par uh, parallel compression is getting busted here. So um, we'll get into that more specifically. But same thing holds true, guys. Let's get into what we're doing, right? The reason that we actually bust out our vocals is because busting out our vocals allows us to separately affect the actual effect that we're using, right? So we can edit and make it sound and more specific and more tailored to what we're going for. So what do I mean? Our reverb, right? We're using the Valhalla reverb right here, the vintage verb. And we're using this preset setting, okay? We're using the large um, bright chamber. Now, the reason why we like to bust our vocals is because now when we put effects under it, it's only affecting our reverb, right? So let's listen to our reverb on the vocal. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curves my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. you now let's actually exaggerate this reverb so we can really hear what we're doing. Okay, so that's our reverb. Now, if you're hearing what I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot of high end, right? It's kind of distracting in a way. I don't want that super harsh high end um, boost on the reverb, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and do some effects to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a low cut and a high cut. Okay, so this first one, I just used a very simple low cut right here at about 88 hertz. And then I did a high cut at about 5K hertz, okay? And what does that sound like? Let's listen to it without, and then we'll listen to it with it. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curves my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Now that was a very huge difference, right? And that's what I want my reverb to sound like, okay? Now, once we have our reverb sound, how we want it to sound, all we do is we add it to the send and we affect the vocal how much we want the reverb to actually be on the track. So that's when we dial it in. Perfectly sitting reverbs. That's what we're looking for, okay? The next thing we did was we used a space delay. Now, what do I mean when I say space delay, okay? Usually the space delay I use is for more of an atmospheric thing, right? I'm not using it. It's not to be heard. It's more to be felt, okay? So we have our H delay, and we have it at a 1 16th. That is the timing that we have at, right? And like I said, it's to be felt. So let's hear it. I'm going to exaggerate it, 
and it's very quick delay, and it's more to fill out the space of your vocal to make them have a effect that it's a way more uh, bigger sounding, larger than life vocal. So let's hear it. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her curves my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wife you a keeper. You fight to you a diva. Right, so we dial that in. That starts to give us a more larger than life sound. It fills out the vocal more. It's not just one vocal going straight through. We have somebody in atmosphere to the side, but you're not gonna really hear that in the track, but it has a lot to do with how it feels, right? So let's play it with and without. Right, so that's what we do for that. Now, now a delay how we usually use it is what we're using right here at this delay aux, okay? So let's close this one out. This next delay is a one half delay, right? So that's the delay that you can actually hear tailing off at the end, okay? So we're just using that to, you know, fill out the vocal, fill out the track, fill out those spaces more. Same thing as the other one, except for it has a longer tail and basically you can actually hear it, okay? It fills out those gaps and it just makes the song sound more musical, all right? Now, the next thing that we're doing right here, as you can see, is this doubler. Why do we have a doubler on our vocal? We have the doubler on our vocal to give our vocals a larger than life sound, right? We want to widen it out more, okay? So we put our doubler, right? This is from Wave. We put our doubler, and it's the basic doubler, and we just leave it at the default setting, right? Let's go ahead and exaggerate this and bring it back down so you guys can actually hear what this is doing. But we want to add this to taste just to give it a little bit of more width. Um, we don't want it obvious, right? Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her girl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wife you a keep. You fight to you with deep. Right, so that just adds a little bit of width to our vocal to make it sound a lot more bigger, a lot more larger than life, all right? And the last thing that we have on our vocal chain, as you can see, is this parallel compression, okay? So that's these effects right here. So we have our parallel compression, and we're, we're smashing it, right? The ratio is brick wall, basically, right? And you're going to see... It's going crazy, right? So we have it all the way brick wall using our CLA 76, which comes from Waves, and we're just smashing the vocal, right? Now, what's going on here, and then we're also just like leveling it out, and then we're also taking out the low end because it does introduce some low end. Um, that that plugin, the, the CLA 76, it introduces some low end. So we wanted to clean that up right here. And then as you can see, we did a little cut to where we can take out some of that um, introduced um, analog warmth, right? And we have a little cut right here at about 1.5K where it introduced a little bit of that, that frequency, right? It just introduced a, a frequency that kind of gives us a little bit of like a nasally type of sound, right? So we took that out right there. Now, as you can see, yes, it is doing a lot here, but what we did with our bus is we actually trimmed it down so that we were able to go ahead and crank up it all the way here. Now what this allows us to do is actually have our vocals just sit perfectly in the track, okay? That's what we're using our parallel compression here for. We just want it to sit perfectly in that track and give us that final level off of what's going on and that final level off of dynamics in our track, all right? So let's hear our vocals with everything off and with everything on. Let's get into it. So everything's off right now. Let's hear what the vocal sounds like and then we're gonna pop everything back on. Let's go ahead, listen to it with everything off. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her girl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Right? Doesn't sound terrible. We got a great recording, right? Let's go ahead and put everything back on right now, and let's hear what we got. Shawty like Aquafina, she bad, she off the meter. Her girl's my favorite feature. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. You wife you a keep. You fight to you a thief. Play this shit through your speakers. I don't want you, girl. Crazy, man. You already know what time it is, man. So that's how you mix your vocals like a pro, all right? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, the wave, man, man, man. You already know what time it is, man. You already know what time it is, man. Tonsos!